Hey guys, as up here. Today we will be talking about my favorite champion combos, aka Velkos combos. For those of you who don't know me, I have been playing Velkos since release. That's about three and a half years. Over those years, I have discovered many different combos, and in this video, I'm going to show you ten examples. Last season Velkos helped me get my challenger jacket, hopefully he will do that this season as well. I will be starting from simple combos and move towards more advanced ones. In this video I will be referring to his spells as Q, W, E and R obviously and as C which stands for combo. Combo in this context will be E plus W plus R in that specific order. I assume you guys already know how Velkos stacks work. Every three spells hit you get bonus true damage. In an ideal situation W will be two stacks, so you would get Q plus W and then combo which is E plus W plus R and all that together would be nine stacks. So in a perfect trade you would have three true damage rotations. Previously we said that combo will be E, W, R and here you may notice that is already six stacks or two true damage rotations. So you are probably wondering where does that leave Q. Even though it doesn't seem like it on paper, Q is the most important ability for Velkos. Q is actually what makes Velkos unique and is his biggest outplay tool. In most of the combos I will be showing you today, we will be using Q to set them up and overflow one stack. We are mostly aiming to get four or seven stacks. Overflowing one stack is extremely important for a couple of reasons. Firstly, your W might not always be the ideal two stacks. Or after you dish out your entire combo, your opponent may flash. And because of that overflowing one stack, ultimate will proc the true damage rotation before they get out of the range. Okay, we will start with simple QR variations. First one is forward QR. The trick here is to shoot your Q at a very wide angle, preferably 46 degrees, which is the biggest range possible for Q, and then immediately follow up with your ulti. Most of the enemies will panic and start moving backwards when they see your ulti, and that will lead them right to the spot where you predicted they will be when shooting your Q. It takes some practice but when you know your Q limits, this one is fairly easy to hit. Next one is choke QR combo. It's very similar to forward QR, but it's more of a chasing tool than playmaking tool. Plus, 10 combo sounds a lot better than 9. <laughs> we use this one when opponents are being chased and we know there's only a one place they can be in. So we just shoot the Q aim towards the spot we expect them to be in and then ultimate. Opponents can either take the combo and die or move backwards towards your team and die. This is a very nice chase tool because of its huge range and it's also very useful when opponents are near walls because they only have one spot to be in. Next one is reactivated QR combo. There are two main differences here. Firstly, we shoot Q a lot closer to the target. That makes the reactivation part easier. And second difference is that we don't shoot the ultimate until the second Q cast. So just after reactivating Q and seeing that it will hit, we use ultimate. Okay, let's try something a bit trickier. The next one is invisible QR combo. We shoot Q precisely over the wall. That way the opponent has no idea what's going to happen up until the very end. After that slick Q, we do the exact same thing in the forward QR. We panic them into moving towards our Q. This is an extremely powerful picking tool. Next one is fast invisible Q combo. And it's even harder to hit. I just love those invisible, I love those invisible oh, ones. Me too, man. Me too. Damn, look at you sexy ass. Anyway, the trick to this combo is that we shoot a Q directly into the wall and reactivate it. If you guys don't know, the second Q is a lot faster. Hence the name fast invisible Q combo. There is almost no counterplay to this combo if you use it properly. The opponent will have absolutely no idea your Q is coming towards them before it hits. You just gotta make sure you're not standing on a ward. Next one is decoy QR or fake QR. A lot of players will love this one because it's very different. It's not very difficult mechanically, but on the other hand, it does require you to know your damage perfectly. So we start this one off with a very wide Q. This will force your opponent to move towards you in order to dodge it. But here's why it's called decoy Q. Beforehand we have already calculated that we needed only full channel ulti to kill the target. So basically we fake them with the Q into full channel ultimate. Moving on to surprise WR combo. This one is hard to pull off, but it will catch even the best players in league off guard. To prepare this combo we need to have at least one stack on the opponent. Then when your opponent thinks they are relatively safe and move to farm, you will give them a nice surprise in the form of a WR combo. The biggest damage spike here comes from two true damage rotations, which are extremely quick. 
Your opponents will have no idea how they almost died from full HP. Next! We have a minion Q bounce combo. If you find your opponent too clean and you can't land a Q on them, then use a Q seemingly on a minion to farm, but aiming the split Q into your opponent. And we have already established that the second Q part is a lot faster. It will be harder for your opponent to dodge it and expect it. Then when your opponent is already slowed, just follow up with the combo. Next! Oh boy, this next combo is one of my favorite ones. This is a backward Q into combo. We use a wide Q to start it up. But here comes the brilliance of this combo. We use it on a roughly wide angle. That will naturally make players dodge towards you. Especially if there are minions to hide behind. But we will not wait to see where they go to reactivate it. We will predict their movement. We will predict the reactivation on them moving towards us. We are making it seem like there are 50-50 chances to dodge it. But it's not. We have already rigged the parameters. We can actually land this combo like 80% of the time. This particular combo is the reason I have been called a scripter many, many times. Trust me on this one. When you learn to hit this backward cue, you will be surprised how many people fall for this trick. It's just a very beautiful combo. Now we have reached the 10th and last combo for today. This one is called Shepherd Q combo. It's very similar to Backwards Q combo, with one main difference. In this combo we are not attempting to hit the Q. We are using it to hurt the opponents like sheep, hence the name Shepherd Q combo. In this particular video I have hit the Q but it doesn't matter, you don't even have to hit it. Like almost every other combo we started off with a wide Q. And before the opponent starts dodging, we actually use our combo on the wave. It uses the same psychology like the backwards Q combo. Opponent will naturally be dodging towards the wave to hide from the Q, but for his surprise there's something even deadlier waiting for him there. Once you hit your combo it's very simple to finish them off, because you will be getting 6 stacks and 2 true damage rotations. But be careful, this one might dub you as scripter as well, so be sure to always have the void to prove the haters wrong. So that was it boys, I have collected 10 sweet combos for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I do, cause I had tons of fun making it. If you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new, drop it a like, give me a nice comment so I know I'm on the right track. And hopefully I will be making more educational content along the line. Anyway, I love you all boys, Velko's out.